Hello everybody, welcome back to Learning and Technology. Frank here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your iPad and use it as a second display for your Windows machine. Now the nice thing about this is that if you're in an online meeting or if you're teaching a class and you want to share out a nice clean screen, having your iPad as that second screen means you can share that out keep your main screen for notes and chat windows and all of those things and use your iPad as that nice clean screen that you can share out to your audience and use as your presentation screen. Stay tuned in this video I'll show you exactly how to do that. So when I'm working on an online meeting or teaching online one of the things that's really handy to have is a second display. I have this iPad here that I've got wirelessly connected to the same network as my PC. What I'm going to do on my PC is download and launch a program called Duet. That's going to act as sort of a server. I'm now going to come over and I have an app downloaded called Duet. I'm going to click on that app. That's going to be a client over here. And what's going to happen now is that this is going to act as a second display for my PC. I can go in and make some changes in terms of frame rates, performance, resolution, but I'll leave it as is and close that down. And you can see that now I have both of these monitors acting on one system. If I right click and go into my display settings, I can choose how my monitors are going to be here. So I do want my iPad to be over here on the left side because that's how I have it arranged on my desk. If I had it on the other side, I could drag it here. The only trick is you have to make sure you hit apply once you rearrange it. So I'm going to make sure it's on the left side. I'm going to apply that change. You can even identify the monitors so you can see that what will happen here is this comes up as a monitor one quickly. The other one came up as a monitor two. But you can see that if I drag my mouse, it goes between the displays. Now this is very handy if I'm in something like a team meeting. So if I start a new team meeting here, let's call this demo. One of the features that I have of all meetings is that I can share off screens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a share and I'm going to go in and share the second screen. So now this screen is being shared with my audience. They're seeing this screen here. What I'm able to do now, so if I actually go in here, you can see I can have chats and all sorts of good stuff, but I've now got this screen here. In this screen here, I can go in, have chats, work with uh, students, whatever I'm doing with my online meeting. I'll turn off my video. So I've got everything happening here. I can work with chats, so on and so forth. But let's say I wanted to put a PowerPoint presentation on here. If I go into PowerPoint and go into my slideshow, I'm going to go in and I'm going to set up my slideshow. And I'm going to choose to have the slideshow monitor be this display, my duet display. When I say OK, this means that as I launch this program, I'll start my slideshow from the beginning. Now, this is what my audience is seeing. So I can drive this presentation on this screen, and this is what my audience will see on their screens. So there you have it, how to turn your iPad into a second display for your Windows computer environment using Duet. If you're a Mac user, you can use a utility called Sidecar, which is built into the operating system and allows you to do the same thing. The nice thing about having that second display is that you can now share out that entire screen to your audience, maintaining privacy of your speaker notes or chat windows on your main display without really having to get the two confused. You can send that out to the audience and they can see exactly what you want them to see. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and if you want more tips, hit the subscribe button. If you think somebody else would benefit from seeing this video, share it out to them as well. Thanks once again for watching. Here's some more videos that I've created that you might be interested in. We'll see you next time on Learning and Technology. Thanks again.